Ronald, I've done it. I found your assistant, and he's dope. His name is Jean Ralphiel. Jean Ralphiel! Big T. What's Mr. That? Swanson, two things. One, it is an absolute honor to meet you. Two, who is that hot intern chick out there? Because honestly, <laughs> damn! <laughs> uh, take a seat. Right, here we go. So, Jean Ralphio. You got him right here. Leave a message after the beat. Why do I want you as my assistant? For starters, access to the Illus Clubs. And that's just for starters. I will work for you. I will be on you 24-7. I'll be like your family. I'm here when you get here in the morning. Sure enough, I'll be there tucking you into bed at night. Don't worry, it's not gay. Do we have questions? I think our only question is, uh, when can you start? Right now, let's do it. Thank you for coming in. We will talk. Cool. I feel good about this. And you know, you can hit me up on Facebook anytime, day or night. You know that, right? Take care, buddy. Boom. So what do you think of your new assistant? I want to punch you in the face so bad right now. What? Will you do me one final kindness? Will you pretend to be my wife for an insurance scam, but then we fall in love for real? Take me there. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who are you? This uh, is Ben. He's here to help us with the paperwork. Ben, is that your real name? Yes. Oh, you could do better than that. I'm gonna help you out right now. Your name is Angelo. Angelo, thank you so much for coming out. Get a thicker tie. It looks weird on you. It makes your head look like a fish. Secondly, I don't know where the paperwork is, but when you find it, can you take care of it for us? We don't have any pens because we're afraid it's gonna leak in our shirts. Lastly, I hate the name Angelo. I'm gonna switch it up for you right now. Your new nickname is... Jello Shot. What do you think about that, Jay Shot? Do we have questions? Yeah, where are we? All right, Ben, if you need anything, one of these models that we pay to hang around here will grab it for you. In the meantime, we're gonna be playing video games, tweeting our high scores. Hit it! What are those, shrimp? Ah, okay. Rethink that move, son. Jason! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hey, John Ralphio. How's it going? It's going good. I'm actually right here for an appointment, getting a Brazilian, by the way. There is a woman over there that is unbelievable. Her name is Kim. When she rips it off, she smiles. And it makes you feel things. Throw my name, I get a referral discount if you don't mind. Okay. I heard somebody resigned in disgrace. My question to you is, how you making that paper? Oh, yeah. well, I've interviewed around, uh, but I'm actually about to take a job doing in-house accounting for an accounting firm. Gosh. I almost fell asleep during that sentence. Okay, let me get this straight. You would be an accountant for accountants. Yeah. So at this accounting firm, you would have the boring job. Are you nuts? This is probably the first time you've had off since you've been kid president. True or false? True. Why don't you use that time and go after one of your passions, like model trains or like to or toy Gandalfs or something? Um, Why well, you jump straight to model trains? I mean, it's accurate. I'm going to tell you something that I once heard from a very, very smart woman named Kim. The lady who waxes you? She told me, if you don't love what you do, then why do it? Then she ripped the hair from my b-hole. Time to start a casino in a Tajikistan! Oh, oh my god. You're John Ralphio's dad. Mm -hmm. You're the one that's trying to put me out of business. Well, look at that, Mr. Haverford. You tracked me down. Looks like your detective skills are a lot better than your tween high-end fashion rental skills. And Chris, can we have the room, please? No, you certainly cannot. Dr. Saberstein, why are you doing this? What did it ever do to you? You know exactly why I'm doing this. You destroyed my family. First, you screwed my son out of your business, and then you stole my daughter's virginity. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Deadly serious. According to my daughter, you broke her heart. Then you smashed up her BMW. I had to buy her a new one so she could drive to divinity school. Let me tell you something, mister. You attack a Saperstein, you face my wrath. Be so sure about this, Tiny Tom, that I will crush you like the bug you are. <gasps> and there it is, the heartbeat. Hold up. My dad said that? Yeah, John Ralphio. He told me that I had screwed you out of my business. What? So he was gonna screw me back. Any idea why he'd believe such a thing? That is so weird. 
That is so, oh, you know what? Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, this may be it. I actually told him that rent a swag was my idea and that you had stole it from me. Why would you say that? Because my dad is always riding me for never having a job and I just didn't want to show that I blew it again. Oh, and I don't know if this is relevant, mm. but I told him that you made me sign up for a bunch of credit cards and then max them out by buying illegal white Jaguar fur coats. Oh, that's probably not relevant, <laughs> It's probably though. not relevant, though. I don't know. I the guess. Guess. All this lying about me stops now. Mm. This is my life. Please, one of you has to tell him the truth. Not, not it. it! Oh, oh, you got me! Oh. <laughs> uh oh uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm gonna do the unthinkable. I'm gonna have a short, honest conversation with my father. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. And let me just say how truly, deeply trill it is to be standing in this dope-ass conference room and dressing a group of people in a business meeting. It's really a dream come true. Uh, right now, I wanna turn the floor over to John Ralphio, who has something to say. Tom, lawyer guy. Daddy, Tom did not screw me out of the company. He gave me every opportunity to jump in at the ground floor, and I said no. Not because I thought it was a bad idea, but because, and this is very important, I really didn't care about what was happening. So why exactly did you lie when I asked you what had happened? Daddy D. Daddy, come on, I lie to you all the time. All those math camps I said I went to, I don't even know what a math camp is. So all those postcards that you sent me, all those trophies that you'd won. Trophies I bought. <laughs> I also have something to say. I have done nothing wrong ever in my life. I know this. And I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Money, please. My money. Dr. Saberstein, your son, is my best friend. Yeah. He's like a brother to me, but he's a disaster. And your daughter seriously needs to be locked up in some sort of insane asylum mm. on an island oh. in space. Oh, no. <laughs> These two have been huge disappointments to me. Come on, you love us. Tell me you love us and then admit this guy looks like Beaker from the Muppets. <laughs> What are we doing here, though? Like, what is this? Why are we here? No! 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 Now you know the truth. Will you back off? No, I will not stop. Yes, this all started as vengeance for my children. But the company is making money now. Why would I back off just because these nincompoops lie to me all the time? No, I'm not going to back off. I'm going to continue, and I'm going to crush you. All right, you two. Are you in for dinner tomorrow night? Yes! Daddy! Huh? Give me a kiss. Mwah! Mwah. Got it. Oof. I love you, Daddy! I love me you, Daddy! Too. You know what I love? <laughs> Jello shot! I got shots all over the I have an amazing investment idea for you. Condoms with pictures on them. Pass. Good, smart. I think you made the right decision. Take care. Welcome, Mr. Saperstein. <laughs> Thanks so much. I will just show you to your cubicle. I can't, I bet it's a big one, huh, Barney? Uh, <laughs> the uh, temp agency said that you are fluent with QuickBooks Pro, correct? All oh, right, yeah, we should cover that. You see, my resume might not actually be accurate, right? So I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't know what QuickBooks are. You don't have any accounting experience? No, 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 Barney, come on. But. You don't have to be an accountant to know that this girl is a 10. Yo, what up, DS? You come here often? To my job? Ooh, she's got a mouth on her also. Shut it. Is this the new temp who's supposed to help me with the spreadsheets? I want to talk about spreading the sheets. We can go back to my place and I will rock your... You're fired! That makes sense. So I just go out the same way I came in? Hold up. I will do John Mayer. Again. <laughs> Daddy. Someone set a fire in your car because you took too long and I got bored. <laughs> money, please. Oh, no, no, there's no money. Oh, my bad. No problem. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Um, I'll just destroy this office. Oh, hey! <sighs> money, please. Money, please. Uh, uh, ben, give her some money. It's easier. 
Tommy T, you just missed the craziest of crazies. Clubs, girls, dancing, naked, mom, argument, police, fleeing the seat, hiding in a dumpster, coming here, crashing on your couch for a week because technically I'm homeless.